My name is Justine, um, I'm the captain of the women's team. The City of Canning are a big sponsor for the Queen's Park NAIDOC round, um, as well as other, you know, the other areas they get behind the club in many ways. Um, celebrating NAIDOC is, is um, really important for our people. Um, it's really important for Indigenous people to get up, you know, be a voice in their communities, um, be actively involved in their communities, um, getting out and supporting these events, you know, and getting behind the people that organise them is really important. Yeah, I think everybody's got a part in, you know, um, getting up and standing up and showing up, yeah. So my name is Marley Nelson. I am a player representative of the Queen's Park Football Club. I am a I'm on the committee as a deputy vice president and I'm also the vice captain of the reserves team. And so as you can see at the moment we have a, we have a wonderful spectacle with Queen's Park and Kungamaya ladies kicking off today's events and putting on a, a wonderful festival of football representing who we are in regards to what um, NAIDOC means to us as a community. It's actually giving us a, a real opportunity to stand up and be proud and be accountable for who we are as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia. So, so Queen's Park Football Club is represented by 98% Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander players. It's probably two of the most, um, uh, two teams who have the most Indigenous players in the Metro Football League um, and it's always a, a great rivalry when we uh, meet Kungamaya so it usually goes right till the final siren with Kungamaya and Queen's Park, uh, women in particular and even the men. Um, and today pretty much Kungamaya led most of the game and uh, Queen's Park sort of got over the line by two points um, at the end siren. So yeah, it was a nice win for us. And as of recently when they, you know, introduced the Women's Football League, um, you know, I joined as well as my sister and um, it's just a great family environment when we bring our partners and kids, you know, for a game of football on a Sunday. Um, I know for myself, I play footy, my partner will look after the kids and then he'll have a game of footy and I'll look after the kids. So it's a great family day out for everybody basically. I'm a part of the committee, uh, my dad's coach for a number of years, my partner's played, my brother who's recently passed has played, um, all my cousins have played here um, and it's just been a great you know family club family environment for us for many years. To have, to have young teenage ladies playing alongside their mothers and aunties in a game of football that's it in a nutshell. Um, it provides continuity for the future. It provides us coming together as one. Um, today is uh, a memorial match for my late brother who passed away um, in June um, and whose funeral we're, we're yet to have but he spent a, la a large amount of time, many years at the club um, and he as well as the family are a big part of the Queen's Park Football Club so it's great to remember him today as well. Um, we have a one club, one family um, attitude would like the city of Kenning to develop and, and, and take on board that same concept of one club, one family. So one community, one family. So if we can learn to come together and start to have a yarn about the important things, we're all going to be better for the future. The relationship that we have with the city of Kenning and the support, both sponsorship, financial and just by them coming down and showing their faces, shows that we are connected as one unit within the City of Canning and Queen's Park Football Club. So we represent the City of Canning through the relationship us as a football club have with our local shire. And so with the support and assistance that we receive from them, we value that every day. And it, it, is, it is so important that we keep and maintain the relationship we have with the City of Canning. What we have here in the City of Canning, I don't think there's nothing like that anywhere else in Perth.